No one can stop the steaming hot Boston Celtics right now, so this video shows you why they continue to dominate even the highest caliber of opponents. Having led by 20 points in each of their last five games, the Tatum and Brown-led Seas have gone 10-1 and during the month of March and 15-1 and over their last 16 outings against playoff teams. Now 23-4 and overall since January 21st. It's safe to say Beantown's taken the league by storm, so let's look at how Ime Udoka's ball club is tearing apart the association and shocking NBA fans across the globe. Right before that, just 9.6% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't yet already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Also, leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Lastly, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. Having won five games in a row by a combined 108 points, three of which have been against top six seeds, the Boston Celtics are now within striking distance of securing the Eastern Conference's top spot. Considering the number one seeded Miami Heat just lost to a Warriors team without every member of their big three in South Beach, with Butler beefing with Coach Spolstra and Udonis Haslam saying he's going to F Jimmy up on the sidelines, that first place Eastern Conference door could very well be opening. 1 through 15, this Celtics roster has extremely gritty, hard nosed championship level clamps, ranking first across the NBA in defensive efficiency, and that league best 105.8 rating puts Beantown well above any other team in the Eastern Conference. The defensive rating gap between the Celtics and the East's second best defense and number four overall ranked Cleveland Cavaliers is the same gap between the Cavs and the number 10 ranked Utah Jazz. No team in the Eastern Conference has come close to shutting down opponents like the Celtics have, especially over the last few months. Boston's success on the overall season shouldn't shock us too much, considering the under-talked about yet legitimate success of their duo since they each were drafted about half a decade ago. New GM and former head coach Brad Stevens has done a great job with his coaching hire of Udoka and trades for Derek White, along with Daniel Tice, but about six years ago, since Danny Ainge drafted Jalen Brown in 2017 and Jason Tatum the next year in 2018, you can't forget the Jays have each made at least two conference finals appearances, with Jalen having made three. Doubters will go in the other direction and say that it's been six straight years where one of Brown or Tatum has been eliminated before the finals, but as I mentioned in my last Boston video a few days ago, the Celtics were missing Jalen Brown in last year's first round exit, and before that, they came up two wins short of the finals. Back in 2018, Tatum postered LeBron, and the at-the-time rookie had the Celtics one quarter away from the finals at that time as well. But with their duo intact for 2021-22, Boston had no excuses for this year like they did in 2021, which is why the first 36 games of this campaign were such a massive letdown to everyone. Beantown's basketball team dropped to three games below 500 approaching the midway point of the year and hovered around that 500 mark all the way up until January 23rd. But as the famous saying goes, you don't want to peak too early, and the organization who's won 17 championships has flipped the switch on both ends of the floor since that brutal start. Shocking the world, the Seas went on to win a staggering 85% of their next 27 outings, establishing a clear identity on the defensive end of the court. But specifically over Boston's last 15 games, they've also dominated on the other side, ranking first in both offensive and net rating over that span. We looked at Jason Tatum in the film room in my last Celtics video. I'm still putting together film on Jalen Brown, which I'll post in another C's upload sometime soon. JB and his running mate on the wing in JT have found a lethal scoring flow. Since losing to the also on fire Dallas Mavericks on Kevin Garnett's jersey night, the Jays have each scored at least 25 points against the Warriors, Kings, Nuggets, Thunder, and Jazz. After the blowout win against Utah, Jason Tatum surpassed Ice Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks to become 2021-22's leader in total points scored with 1,889. Potentially Boston's X Factor, and without a doubt their best guard defender in Marcus Smart, showed off his clamps in that outing against Utah. When matched up with Mike Conley on 15 possessions, he allowed zero points. He matched up with Royce O'Neal on 10 possessions and allowed three points. He matched up with Donovan Mitchell on eight possessions and allowed zero points. Smart also matched up with Gobert on five possessions and also allowed zero points. Additionally, Smart performed exceptionally on the other end as he had nine first quarter assists 
which tied Rajon Rondo, who had nine dimes in a first quarter on November 14th of 2014, for the most in franchise history. Ime Udoka spoke on the team's effort against Salt Lake City, saying, I think we all feel there's another level we can take it to, being more stingy on defense and getting everybody on board offensively. Meanwhile, the continued evolution of Robert Williams has been a common thread for Boston. While he isn't the only reason the Celtics defense has been so damn good as Al Horford and Marcus Smart deserve some credit as well, Williams and his abilities on both ends of the court can't be replicated by anyone else on this C's roster, or really anyone else in the league for that matter. In an era where otherworldly athleticism separates the good from the elite, Robert Williams is in the rarest of air based on his physical gifts alone. Mixed with his on-court vision and a dash of improved conditioning, and we've started to see Robert Williams reach his potential as of late. A contender for both Most Improved Player of the Year and DPOY, of all starters with at least 30 games played, Williams has the lowest defensive field goal in the league at 40.2%, and opponents shoot minus 6.8% worse when defended by him, which is the league best differential. That differential is just above other elite well-known bigs like Jared Allen, Rudy Gobert, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Bam Adebayo. On top of that, RW3 is 5th in blocks per game with 2.2, and 2nd in total blocks on the year with 126, just behind Jaron Jackson Jr., who has 154. The reacquisition of Al Horford has been massive for the development of Williams, and Horford's presence has allowed Ime Udoka to use Williams in a free safety type of defensive role, just like how the Bucks use Giannis Adetokounmpo. Horford holds down the paint, which allows Williams to roam the space between the paint and the arc. The utilization of Williams' skill set has been a big part of Boston's defensive renaissance, with the team averaging six blocks per game, second best in the association just behind Memphis. Robert's impact goes far beyond being a defensive anchor for the Seas, as Boston has used his passing and athleticism to the best of their abilities. Boston is 10th in offensive rebounding, a lot of that is due to Williams' ability to pull down boards or swat them out to the perimeter to keep possessions alive. Of all starters with at least 30 games under their belts, Williams is 4th in offensive rebounding rate at 12.9%. It's also worth noting that under the same parameters, he's 2nd in effective field goal percentage and 1st in true shooting percentage while being the 5th lowest in usage rate. Overall though, all of the C's defensive phenoms, whether on the wing with Tatum and Brown in the backcourt with Marcus Smart or in the front court with Horford and Rob Williams are making this tattered up fan look less idiotic by the day. But who's the most important Celtics defender? Best answer in the comments section down below gets next video shout out. Top five commenters with the most shout outs by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing this summer. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Thomas Sankara, who says the Bucks defense goes from middle of the pack to top five in the league with Brooke. He's so criminally underrated by casuals and with Ibaka to help and Portis off the bench, looks like the Bucks will wrap up the East. These playoffs will be a challenge. I think we can go buck to buck though. Appreciate every answer. This was D-Flow and I'll see you next video.